Okay, um, so I am going to start a new topic. Um, so, it, this is uh, along the lines of uh, the, uh, so it belongs to the part which I have been calling some of the advanced topics. So, in other words, uh, if you recall that I, I had classified uh, some of the topics such as the renormalization group, uh, second quantization, Schwinger Dyson equations, etc., as advanced topics. Uh, so, I had uh, finished discussing uh, renormalization group applied to the 1D Ising model. So, now I am going to uh, discuss the method of second quantization which is very powerful when dealing with interacting many particle systems. So, uh, so I am going to start with a very simple example which you should all be familiar with, but it is uh, uh, it is worthwhile doing it the way I am going to explain because I am going to use a similar method uh, again and again. Okay. So, the, so the model I am going to start with is the absolutely simple one dimensional uh, harmonic oscillator. So, uh, so this is my Hamiltonian. So, um, so this is the simple uh, uh, p squared by 2 m plus 1 half m omega squared x squared. So, this is my uh, simple uh, 1D Hamiltonian and uh, and it is uh, quantum mechanical. So, that means um, the uh, x and p are operators and they, uh, they obey uh, commutation rules uh, such as uh, this. Okay. So, so the question is um, uh, the goal is now to find the energy um, meaning the eigenvalues of this Hamiltonian. So, uh, one way is to you know write uh, the Schrodinger way is to write p as minus i h bar d by d x and then uh, just uh, solve uh, the for the stationary states. So, this is what one typically does, but then uh, you know uh, there is a cleverer way of doing this. So, this is actually uh, useful if you also want the Eigen functions along with the Eigen values. But if you do not care about the Eigen functions, you only care about the Eigen values, there is a quicker way of getting it and that is through uh, what is called uh, the second quantization method or so basically it involves using uh, creation and annihilation operators. So, this is that is going to generalize uh, to something uh, in, uh, in the context of fields. So, when I discuss, so this is uh, just a single particle. So, in the context of fields, we are going to uh, be using a similar method. So, so I am going to start off with a simpler uh, one, one particle picture. So, how do you deal with this? So, notice that this has the form. So, this uh, resembles something like uh, uh, what I am going to do is the uh, I am going to um, first uh, take the liberty of uh, you know uh, multiplying and dividing by a certain energy. So, I am going to uh, multiply ok. So, firstly let me do the following. So, I am going to uh, pretend that there is some energy E ok. So, which is positive and uh, I am going to uh, without loss of generality multiply and divide by that. So, uh, So, I am going to fix this E later on. Okay. So, I am going to tell you what this E is later on. For now, uh, it is just uh, I am at liberty to do this so long as E is not 0, I have also declared it to be positive. So, so long as it is not 0 and it is positive, I can always do this because E will cancel out. So, now if you stare at the thing in the bracket, uh, you see this has the form. So, it this resembles something like a capital Y squared and this resembles something like capital X squared. Okay. So, th these are uh, two new operators that I am going to now define. So, I am going to define X as uh, the operator X times the uh, square root of M omega squared at divided by 2 E and the operator Y I am going to define as uh, P uh, times 1 over square root of 2 M E. So, now, uh, you see the question is uh, if I uh, look uh, I mean if uh, y and x are numbers then clearly I can always write like this is not it. So, I can always write uh, y minus i x. So, if y and x are numbers, but if y and x are not numbers uh, 
So, in general what, th what would this be? Suppose uh, if I expand this out what will it look like? So, this is looks like y squared right y into y is y squared and if I multiply the i x with minus i x it is going to look like x squared. But then there is a cross term which is i into x y minus i into y x. So, notice that if uh, x and y uh, are numbers or they are just uh, they are not operators they are just uh, commuting numbers then x times y is same as y times x and this cancels out. But then in this example uh, x and y are operators. So, so this is actually going to be y squared plus x squared capital X squared that is plus i times commutator of capital X capital Y. So, now what is the commutator of capital X capital Y just from this from the definition this is going to look like um, so x small x commutator ca, small p is i h bar. So, um, so it is going to be i h bar uh, times uh, the rest of it ok. So, uh, so the rest of it is basically uh, raised to 1 half uh, times uh, omega squared over 4 e squared ok. So, m cancels out and 2 becomes 2 times 2 is 4 and e times e is e squared and so, uh, so this is going to be i h bar into omega over 2 e ok. So, that is what that is going to be. So, so this is going to be y squared plus x squared plus a constant. So, that constant happens to be uh, minus h bar omega over 2 e ok. So, now uh, I can do the uh, other way also. So, in other words uh, I can choose to do it this way. So, notice that these two if x and y were numbers uh, it would not matter whether I write it like this or I write it like this it is the same thing. So, but then uh, so these two are not equal in other words this is not equal to this. So, so what I have to do is I have to write this as this. So, uh, so uh, I could do this also I, I get the different sign here. So, I, I, I would not do this, but I am just pointing out that you could uh, do it this way or this way, but I choose to do it this way. So, now y squared plus x squared is not equal to y plus i x into y minus i x, but rather it is y plus i x into so I have to get rid of this. So, basically I have to write h bar omega plus 2 e. So, now it is correct ok. So, now it is correct ok. So, now it is this is correct ok. So, this is what I am going to uh, use now ok. So, h is going to now look like e times it is going to look like y plus i x into y minus i x times e times this. So, it is it is going to be plus 1 half h bar omega ok. So, that is what that looks like. So, now uh, what I am going to do is I am going to call I am going to call this a dagger and I am going to call this a ok. So, uh, so a is basically this operator which is called y minus i x and a dagger is going to be uh, y plus i x ok. So, uh, dagger means basically the complex conjugate of the transpose. So, it is an operator. So, it is uh, it is the same dagger that you see in quantum mechanics is the Hermitian conjugate. So, now I can ask myself what is this commutator? Notice that this commutator will depend on E because uh, that E was something that I just put in by hand. So, I am at liberty to choose E in some convenient way. So, so to my convenience. So, notice that uh, this uh, x commutator y is uh, ih bar omega or 2 E. So, a commutator a dagger is basically going to be minus i uh, x commutator y then it is going to be y commutator i x. So, there is going to be minus 2 i there. So, this is the answer ok. A commutator a dagger is minus 2 i times x commutator y. So, and what is x commutator y? It is i h bar omega or 2 e. So, it is uh, so this uh, 2 will cancel i will cancel with minus i and you will get uh, h bar omega over e. So, what I am going to do is I am going to choose choose 
uh, e to be equal to h bar omega. So, if I choose e to be h bar omega, what is going to happen is that uh, this uh, a, a dagger commutator will be 1 and that will fix the rest of it. Okay. So, so then I will be able to write this Hamiltonian in this fashion. I will be able to write E is h bar omega because I have selected it that way. So, and this is a dagger a plus 1 half h bar omega. Okay. So, now uh, you can make out from here that uh, uh, this, uh, this quantity is a um, self adjoint uh, positive definite operator. So, that means it is a Hermitian operator um, that uh, whose eigenvalues are positive or 0. So, you can easily make out what the ground state of the system is because this is either positive or 0. Clearly, the, the smallest energy is, uh, is uh, for a state. So, so you can uh, select a state where uh, uh, this is 0. So, if, if you select a state where which is annihilated by A. So, this operator if it annihilates uh, the state, then that is going to be the ground state of the system because uh, that is going to have the lowest energy. So, that directly you can make out that uh, that has the lowest energy. Okay. So, uh, so, now the question is what about uh, the other eigenvalues? So, the ground state is half h bar omega. So, how do you make out the other eigenvalues? So, from the ground state you can construct the other states in the following way. So, you can construct uh, an excited state. So, I am going to call psi 1. Uh, uh, suppose I define psi 1 as a dagger psi naught. Okay. So, this is my definition. Now, you can see that this is uh, I'm, uh, if psi naught is properly normalized I have to make sure that psi 1 is normalized. So, if I take the uh, adjoint and I take the uh, norm like this, I get uh, a times a dagger psi naught. But then uh, a times a dagger is, uh, so remember a times a dagger minus a dagger times a is 1. So, so this is going to be psi dagger uh, into 1 plus psi naught. Okay? So, this is going to be uh, psi naught psi naught plus psi naught a dagger a psi naught. Now, notice that this is 0. Okay, so, this is going to be uh, psi naught psi naught which is 1. So, this is properly normalized uh, state. So, now I have to make out, I have to find out what is the energy of the state. So, the energy of this state uh, will be obtained first I have to make, uh, I want to know whether this is the Eigen state or not. So, if I take h psi 1, I will get uh, h bar omega into a dagger a into psi 1 plus 1 half h bar omega into psi 1. So, now this is h bar omega into a dagger a into a dagger psi naught plus 1 half omega h bar omega psi 1. So, now what is uh, what is this again? I can rewrite this as a, a dagger is 1 plus a dagger a. So, now a dagger a acting on psi 0 is 0. So, this will not contribute. So, what will contribute will be 1. So, it is h bar omega a dagger acting on. So, this is effectively 1. So, this uh, a, a dagger behaves like 1 when it is acting on psi 0. So, then a dagger acting on psi 0 is again psi 1 and this is 1 half h bar omega psi 1 which is 3 by 2 h bar omega psi 1. So, like that uh, you can generate all the states. So, the nth state is going to be uh, a dagger raised to n times psi naught, but then uh, you will have to normalize this. So, this will be up to a constant. So, uh, so you can convince yourself that the correct normalization is this. Okay. So, notice that uh, the um, this is an abstract notation, but you can also if you want the Schrodinger picture, you can uh, express y in terms of p and p as minus i h bar d by dx and you can go ahead and solve for this differential equation. So, you see x is going to become uh, uh, m omega uh, over 2 h bar into small x and uh, capital Y is going to become p into 1 over square root of 2 m h bar omega. 
okay. So, uh, so how would you write A? So, A is going to be uh, this operator. So, uh, so the operator A that I am talking about, so let me write that operator A as, so A as y minus i x. So, A is y minus i x and uh, so and what is y? y is uh, p over square root of 2 m h bar omega. So, it is uh, p over square root of 2 m h bar omega and minus i and small x um, was uh, square root of m omega or 2 h bar x the square root of m omega over 2 h bar times x. So, now the ground state is basically the one which uh, uh, makes this 0. So, now you can think of this as uh, p times uh, square root of 2 m m omega over 2 h bar x acting on psi 0 to be 0. Now, what is p? p is nothing but uh, minus i h bar d y d x over ok. So, now you can go ahead and solve this and uh, you will be able to write down what is psi 0. So, psi 0 will be the solution to this equation which will be some constant into minus e raised to some other constant into x square. Okay, so, you can figure out what that is by assume it is this at least you can find the lambda this is the normalization which you cannot find, but substitute that and you will be able to find lambda. Okay, so, so, this is basically how you go about uh, finding the answer to the uh, ground state and uh, the eigenvalues. So, so the eigenvalue of this, so that those that was the ground state eigenfunction. So, the eigenvalues of this nth state will be uh, it is going to be this is going to be an integer. So, the eigenvalue will be uh, h bar omega into n plus half because a dagger a is an integer, ok. So, it is as simple as that. So, this is how you do. Uh, creation and annihilation operator uh, approach to a harmonic oscillator. Okay, so, um, in the next topic I will uh, try to generalize this and uh, imagine a sequence of coupled uh, 1D harmonic oscillators. So, uh, so that will be the next topic that is uh, coupled chain of harmonic oscillators. So, uh, what I have in mind there is, uh, so in, in the earlier, earlier example it was something like this, uh, a mass tied to a spring, ok. So, that, that was a 1D harmonic oscillator, but now what I have in mind is uh, something like this you have a, a mass uh, a, a tied to a spring which is again tied to another mass which is again tied to a spring which is again tied to a mass and so on and so forth. So, so this is the uh, situation that I have in mind and uh, so I am going to imagine that this is the x i position uh, of the ith mass and this will be the position of x i plus 1. So, uh, so, I am going to assume that x i is the you know in some sense the deviation from equilibrium ok. So, uh, so deviation from the unstretched value of the uh, spring. So, uh, so as a result you see the potential energy is going to be something like uh, 1 half m omega squared. So, if all the springs are the same. So, it is going to some something look like this x i x i plus 1 sorry. So, the difference between uh, these uh, so, it is going to be the difference between uh, these two, so the distance square. So, that is the that is how much potential energy is stored and you sum over all the, so this is the potential energy that is stored 
the kinetic energy that is uh, stored is clearly uh, sigma i uh, p i squared over 2 m. So, now the goal is to uh, see if, we, if I can find the eigenvalues of uh, the kinetic plus potential energy of this problem, but using the uh, creation and annihilation operator method. Thank you.